Hi people I'm Nathan you're watching the happy hoot. If you follow me on YouTube you know I am an Indian that have been living in Germany since a couple of years which means I've spent my entire teenage back in India watching all sorts of current Johar Bollywood movies and because of that I always had a very strange and a very different idea about life in Europe and this idea was unfortunately shattered into pieces when I first time stepped in Germany so I came to Germany in March 2013 to do a master's in applied computer science for two and a half years I was living a categorical life of a student and every possible expectation I had about life in Germany as a student back in India was literally broken into pieces which is why I decided to make this video where I want to share all my expectations that I had before coming to Germany and which were unfortunately shattered into pieces by the reality number one everything's gonna be amazing and I will enjoy it well if you're like me who has never traveled outside India before then the stress already begins at the Indian airport where you are expected to do all sorts of cumbersome activities like luggage check security check before you reach your flight finally you reach your flight your flight takes off and you're very happy and you tell yourself it's gonna be amazing you get to eat different types of food different drinks and you can watch movies one after the other but this doesn't last long because the moment your flight lands and you're out at the airport in Germany you're bamboozled because now you are in a country where almost every possible sign is in a language that you just started to learn no matter what you want to do next from now on go to the toilet go to eat find a place to sit find a place to relax or catch a train you need to always open your dictionary and say because you don't remember what which word means number two if i can survive bachelors in india i can survive potentially everything around the world well probably i am the only one that should be blamed for this because i thought if i can literally do my bachelor's of four years of engineering in india i am capable of conquering everest unfortunately this wasn't true as well I did my master's in applied computer science from a technical university which means I had to complete 120 credit points before I could get my master's degree at the end of the day luckily because the educational system in Germany is a little bit flexible I planned to finish my master's in five semesters each semester lasts here for six months the first three months are for extra time and the leftover three months are for the exam because I planned my first four months to complete all my exams and kept the last fifth semester to write my thesis I had to take five subjects on an average in every semester this means I had 12 weeks for five exams which is on an average two and a half week for each exam for me it sounded to be very reasonable because two and a half weeks are pretty much enough for each exam but here it was very difficult because during those two and a half weeks I had to shop cook clean wash my dishes number three there is no dust in Germany I don't have to clean believe it or not my entire childhood in fact my entire life before I stepped outside India I was always thinking that there is literally no dust abroad which literally turned out to be my biggest nightmare I don't know about other countries or other places where people live but here where I live in Germany I literally have to clean every two weeks by cleaning I don't mean just dusting and making the things away by cleaning I literally means cleaning the dust that has been accumulated and of course I thought about the possibility that I could hire somebody that cleans my house perfectly once a week knowing the fact that this would cost me 40 to 50 euros an hour I of course chose myself to be the buyer and clean my mess number four I'm going to the land of fear I'm gonna have fun of my life well I think here I'm not the only one who should be blamed for imagining or expecting that beer would actually taste better than water well I never tried or tasted any alcohol back in India and because I was 23 years old when I came to Germany I thought it's going to be pretty good I'm gonna enjoy but unfortunately this didn't turn out to be true I tried two types of beers and also the Kinder beer, which means here the beer without alcohol. I actually didn't like the taste of it. So the entire idea that drinking beer on weekends and parties and having fun and getting drunk and enjoying your weekends is actually something that was nothing for me. Number five, I'm going to a country where there is less sun, more snow, more winters, less summer. I'm gonna get fair. Well, I am courageously accepting this fact that I believed that fair is pretty, fair is lovely and I was very excited with this expectation that when I will go and live in Germany for like one year I will be having six months of winter where it will be snow, 
no sun, and I'm gonna get brighter and prettier. I wouldn't say unfortunately, but fortunately this did not happen. And taught me the biggest lesson of my life that you are not pretty based on your skin color or something, your outer appearance. You are pretty from the way you are. Living here, I realized for the good that you cannot change your skin color. But what you can change is your mentality. So those were my five biggest expectations about life in Germany that actually got shattered by reality checks. And all I want to tell you guys is it's okay to have expectations and it's okay when they break because when you expect and when you get hit by reality checks, you really learn something out of it. Like I did, that doing new things in life is not always as full of joy as you expect, but always comes with a little bit of stress. And when you want to achieve something that you never had in your life, you have to do something that you never did. And of course, you don't have to be a shade brighter or darker to be pretty. You just need to be yourself because there is no one who's like you.